Amidst the hustle and bustle of Lima, a bold project is changing the way people in Lima get around the city. The San Juan de Luriganco Independencia Cable Car, an iconic piece of engineering and urban planning, is taking shape to connect two of the most populated and dynamic districts in the Peruvian capital. This video delves into the genesis, development and expected impact of the San Juan de Luriganco Independencia Cable Car, exploring the challenges overcome, technical innovations and socio-economic implications of this mega-public transport infrastructure. From its first proposals to its current construction phase, this project has raised both hopes and questions among city residents and urban planning experts. Through interviews with local authorities, engineers and residents of the affected areas, we seek to shed light on the various aspects surrounding the construction of the San Juan de Luriganco Independencia cable car. From reduced travel times to the potential for economic revitalization in previously marginalized areas, this transportation system promises to transform mobility and the quality of life for thousands of Lima residents. The new project by the Ministry of Transport and Communications MTC, will mobilize more than 35,000 passengers a day. Each trip will last only 25 minutes. This implies that the cable car will be designed to transport a large number of people efficiently and quickly. Trip duration, each trip on the cable car will last only 25 minutes. This information highlights the speed with which users will be able to travel between the two districts of San Juan de Luriganco and Independencia, which is a significant improvement compared to traditional means of transport. The project is an initiative led by the Ministry of Transport and Communications MTC, suggesting that it is an important part of the government strategy to improve transportation infrastructure in Lima and address mobility issues in the city. The execution of this work, which seeks to be a milestone in Lima's transportation infrastructure, will be carried out in partnership with the Municipality of Lima and the Urban Transportation Authority for Lima and Calau ATU, with an estimated investment of over 493 million sols. This joint effort aims to significantly improve urban mobility, efficiently connecting two of the most populated districts of the capital. By efficiently connecting two densely populated districts, it is expected to reduce travel times and decongest land transportation routes. Presentation of the project in 2018, during the administration of the former mayor of Lima, Jorge Munoz, in 2018, the idea of building the cable car was presented for the first time. This presentation indicates that the project has been in process for several years and that it has gone through various stages of planning and development since its initial conception. Signing of the contract with the Luriganco CA Consortium, that same year, the signing of a contract with the Luriganco CA Consortium was finalized, which was commissioned to prepare an investment study. This step indicates the willingness to move forward with project planning and to carry out the necessary research to assess its economic and technical viability. However, three years after the contract was signed, the execution of the project was interrupted due to administrative processes of the Urban Transport Authority ATU. This interruption suggests that bureaucratic obstacles arose that delayed the progress of the project and that were necessary to resolve before continuing with its execution. The cable car between San Juan de Luriganco and Independencia has experienced several obstacles and delays throughout its development, from its initial presentation in 2018 to the interruption of its execution three years later due to administrative processes. At the end of 2023, the municipal authorities mentioned the road work again without providing further details about it. Currently, there is no precise date for the start of its construction. However, it is included in a set of road projects in metropolitan Lima, which will require an investment of 3.5 billion sols. This project, along with others included in the plan, seeks to significantly improve road infrastructure and the quality of life of citizens. Where will the stations of the San Juan de Luriganco Independencia Cable Car be? The San Juan de Luriganco Independencia Cable Car, which will extend its route over 6.1 kilometers, is designed to significantly improve urban mobility between two important districts. This project not only promises to be an encouraging economic alternative, comparable to Line 1 of the Lima Metro, but also seeks to harmoniously integrate into the existing public transportation system. 
Find out which stations will make up this project in the following list. Station 1, it will be located at the intersection of Tupac Amaru Avenue with Chinchesuyo Avenue, right at the Naranjal station of the Metropolitano, at the height of the La 50 market. Station 2, it will be located on Chinchesuyo Avenue, at the foot of Amancas Hill. Station 3, it will be located on Amancas Hill, in a tower located 275 meters above sea level. Station 4, located on Amancas Hill, in a tower 400 meters above sea level. Station 5, will be located at the intersection of Proceres de la Independencia and El Sol Avenues. It will connect directly with the San Carlos station on line 1 of the Lima Metro. But now it's your turn to tell us, what do you think of this San Juan de Lurigenco Independencia cable car project? Why do you think it's taking so long to build? Would you like to see it in progress? If you found the video useful, we'd appreciate it if you gave it a like to support our project and if you subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.